Hello YouTube, look what I did. Melanie here with Addicted to Planning and I have switched from the bullet journal over to the Hobonichi Weeks. I don't know how I have missed out on this bandwagon that's been circling I think for a couple years now and I just finally paid attention and decided, hey, this looks like a really awesome system. Let's give it a shot. Um, but here I am. So I have purchased the, this is the spring edition. It is just a regular week, so it's not a mega. And this is a um, denim color. Uh, it arrived and I pulled it out of the little bubble envelope and thought to myself, oh, Dear God, what have I done? Because look at this thing. It is super tiny. And after being in bullet journals for two years, there's two years <laughs> worth of bullet journals, I don't know how I'm going to try to fit all of that into this. I'm skeptical, but we're going to give it a go. Uh, so there it is. And I thought I would um, do a quick... Uh, video on my setup. Now, it came from Japan, so of course it took a whole week to get here. And for that week, um, I obsessed, which I'm hoping I'm not alone in that, um, but thought about how I wanted to lay it out, thought about what I was going to use each thing for or each section of the book, and watched extensive videos, many, many, many Hobonichi videos. Um, and so started to make a little list of how I wanted to set it up. So uh, I will walk you through it. So because while I've only been in it, I guess, five days, it'll be a week um, on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry, Monday. I don't, I don't know how many days that is. Um, I've only been in it a short while. So there's not a whole lot of stuff I can show you from a hack perspective. I have a few. And um, I have one that I'll probably just do in another video. But... Um, I will definitely walk you through this. So, uh, of course, can't leave it like that. That's, you know, sad and lonely looking. So uh, I ordered the um, the clear cover on cover. This is the actual Hobonichi um, clear cover. Uh, they had the one with the little designs on it. Uh, I think there was two or three designs. None of them spoke to me, so I just got the clear plastic one. Um, I... So the jelly covers, I'm not really into a whole bunch of stars, so I ignored that as well. But I did want the elastic. Now, I did have this, which was in a subscription box, as you can see, I've never used it, uh, with, uh, is it Mommy LaHaye? And it had the elastic around it. Little hole in the back. And I was like, yoink. <laughs> so I took the elastic out. I popped a hole in there, and I put the elastic in. So now my cover has an elastic, so baby steps. The other thing I did was um, I went to Michael's and I bought one of these acetate sheets uh, that has all the little, you know, script writing on it of all the little, like, little things. Um, <laughs> I should say that it says little things. Um, and I cut it down to size and I slid it in. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this well. I, I don't know how everybody does their camera setup. I, I suck at this. Okay, so so now I have my little my own little print on the um, cover there. And so let's slide this bad boy in here. Sorry that you're watching this. But I thought it might be fun if you get to watch him get dressed. Alrighty. So there's the clear cover. Now, because the, that acetate is strong, that baby just wants to pop open all the time. So I'm glad I have that elastic, which works perfectly on this thing. So, all right. What else have I done here? So it comes with this little pocket sticker, which I've put right there. I have a few of these little um, flags, and those are mostly for future planning um, on pages I don't feel like writing on yet. So there's a whole bunch of those. Um, one little sticker here. In the front cover, I have some scratch paper. Because who wants to write on this thing with just dumb notes, right? A um, picture of my husband and I. Then I have the 
Um, this is a 2014 limited edition Starbucks card. I was using this in a previous um, traveler's notebook that was all brown, and I really, really liked this. So of course I bought this, put $5 on it, and got to keep the card. Got myself a copy. And so now that guy sits right there. Um, let's see, in the back, in this little one, originally I had stuck like every stamp I own in here, which of course just bulk this thing up and I'm trying not to do that. So um, I just grabbed, so these are, if you're not familiar with these, these are the global forever stamps. So these are forever stamps. You can send these anywhere in the US. The, these stamps are for most countries. And so much like these, even if the, you know, the um, price increases, this stamp will still work. And it is just one stamp. I could stick it on an envelope, send it to Canada, the UK, whatever. And I have a lot of family in, in Canada, so that's why I keep these on hand. But so I figured eight stamps and two of these, that should be more than enough on hand at any given time. I did buy, and for those of you that have these, you might giggle as well, but so these are the Hobonichi um, notebooks. I think there's about 20 pages, if that, in here. And it came in a pack of three, and it was like $10 on Amazon. Um, that's ridiculous, but it has the same paper as this does. And this is, of course, Amazon Prime, so I got it the next day. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to start experimenting with the paper to kind of do some pen tests, and I did some watercolor, and this right here is, you know, um, fountain pen. Uh, I even tried some stamps. Look at this stamp. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is so beautiful. I got a little feather. I did some watercolor in the feather. These are some other stamps, but alas, so far the ink I'm using does bleed through, which is depressing, but we'll get there. So ultimately this is a nothing book right now. It's just like scratch and I got to figure out pens and, and kind of, oh, and too, that's where I started laying out what I wanted to use each section for. So that um, calendar at the beginning, the yearly calendar, the monthlies, and what I wanted to track and all of that. So what's nice is that slides right in there and it's always handy if I need it. And because it's so flippin' thin, it doesn't bulk up my book. Like you wouldn't even know it's back there. Love this thing. Okay, so that guy's back there. Uh, what else am I missing? All right, so the pen I've been using so far, I have to, no, I can't close that thing. Anyway, the pen I've been using so far is this Pilot Juice .38. This thing is super fine. Now I bought a box of these and I was trying to use them in the Lloyd's term for my bullet journaling and it was awful. <laughs> they were terrible. Um, they were scratchy. Um, they they kind of skipped um, and it was just way too fine, way too fine. So when I got this book with the much smoother paper and this super tiny grid, I thought, well, let's give this a shot. And what's amazing is it doesn't smear, um, it doesn't bleed, it dries super fast, and the nib, because it's so fine, um, is, is awesome at planning because I don't feel like I'm, well, you'll see how tiny I write, but I don't feel like I'm wasting space um, by using this pen. All right, so... Let's, oh, and I guess the final thing that's in here is this adorable bookmark. Well, I guess it's a bookmark, pencil holder, and also um, dashboard, I guess. But I saw it on Instagram, and she'd warned us, <laughs> and I do say warned, when they were going to go on sale. She said she only had a few of them, and that she was going to put them on sale, I think, like, um, I think it was like Thursday or something, you know, at 1.15 Central or whatever. I literally put it on my calendar. And as soon as that reminder went off, I jumped on the website, I added it to cart, I paid for it, and it came a few days later, and I was curious. So at the end of the day, I went and I looked, and sure enough, it was sold out. So I'm glad I bought it when I did. But ultimately, I keep that in, in this week's section. It just pokes up a little bit up top, which I think is cute. And it serves, I think, three purposes. So pencil board, um, dashboard, and page marker. So, uh, love that. All right, so let's walk through how I've set this thing up. So now that it's all dressed, you guys have seen all the crap I've put in here. All right, so um, put some stickers there. Well, I like stickers, and you guys, if you've watched any of my previous channel or videos, um, you know that I'm about 
that is a random number, 80% functional, 20% pretty. So this page right here, right now I'm waiting for the date cover stickers that you see in most people's pictures, videos, everything else. Um, I'm kind of annoyed because I ordered them the same day I ordered this book. And so it's two weeks later and they haven't even shipped yet. And they're coming from the UK. So I'm assuming I'll get them for my 2020 planner. Right now I'm not entirely sure, a little frustrated, but hopefully at some point I will have those on here. Um, and I don't know about you, but when I add it to cart and I check out and I pay, I want the doorbell to ring. I, I am that impatient, it's kind of sad and I need to work on that. That's my own weakness. But anyway, all right, so how I've been setting up the yearly calendar is um, I made notes and I'm not following any of them, sorry. <laughs> so I'll, I'll back up pedal a little bit. So the, there's a few things that you will find in all of my planners, regardless if it's a file of facts, a bullet journal, before I was in an ARC um, disc system, but it'll always be the bullet journal method from a task perspective. Um, I always color code. Uh, I always have my at agenda pages. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen those and how I use them, but they're in every planner I use and I always have a weekly review um, checklist. So all of those things aside, so this yearly calendar I have used to mark the days that my office is closed, so essentially holidays um, that are observed by uh, my company, so I know I don't have to work on any of these days. Um, school closures, which this year has been exceptionally challenging. I have three kids, they're literally in three different schools, um, two different counties and one private school. So let's just say not one single calendar, aside from the obviously the federal holidays, match up. Not, none, none of them do, it's crazy. And what? when we had a snow day, I had to wait for three alerts to say the kids don't have school. Now, come the fall, um, my two youngest will be in the same county. So at least I'll have one county school calendar and my daughter's going off to college, so I probably won't be keeping track of her holidays, maybe aside from like spring break or reading week or whatever they call it. But so um, I'm knocked, or sorry, wrote down all of school closures. That's what the little blue things are. Um, my husband and I do this um, thing we like to call PTO date day. Um, and what we do is we both take the day off of work, we send the kids to school, and we spend the whole day together. Uh, we don't have to get a sitter. Uh, it's a lot more time than a couple of hours that you're crying, trying to cram a dinner in or whatever. And we go and do fun things. It always starts with breakfast and usually mimosas. And then we go and we do fun stuff throughout the day. So that's what the hearts are. And I like to just keep an idea of how many that we do. And um, the last one would be actual PTO days. Like if we're going on vacation or you know, uh, mental health day, whatever it is, actual PTO days. So that's what I've been tracking on this one. On this one, uh, again, because I had a whole week to figure out how I wanted to use this, and many of the videos I watched, people weren't. Does this not look familiar? I mean, it looks so familiar to me, which is probably why I feel like I'm at home in it. But look at that. That's a Calendex. And I don't know if that's where Eddie Hope got the idea, but it was brilliant in here, and it's brilliant right here. So I'm using this in much the same way. I don't have to forward plan in this on this page as much as I did in, in the bullet journal because I have all of these pages that I can go forward plan on. But to see at a year glance um, is awesome. So I took one of those little sign here stickers. I cut off the sign and I put the here because every time I opened this, it was like, what month am I on? I had to go retrain my brain as to which column I was looking at. So that's sitting there. But so the things that I'm tracking on here are same thing that was in the bullet journal. These little triangles are the wine club subscription that we have. The, um, they take the money out of our visa or whatever on the fourth Tuesday every month. So I've marked what day that actually is. I color it in as soon as I've picked up the wine. Um, once a month, the girls and I get together for happy hour. So I've marked that with this little martini glass. Um, I've gone ahead and put those PTO date days on here in the little blue heart. Uh, I've marked down paydays, so the green highlighter is all the paydays. Um, the uh, pink C is cleaners. We have cleaners come every other week, so what day is that? Um, I marked down the full moon and the new moon. Uh, full moon, just so I can know why the kids are acting weird. And then new moon, um, 
I don't know if you've ever heard of an abundance check or all the things that go along with a new moon. Um, some people will, some people won't, but I just like to know when it is. Um, doctors and dentists, and that's this little asterisk with a circle in the appropriate color, so whatever family member that doctor's for. Um, the family's main birthday, so the five of us and the immediate family when those birthdays are on here. Um, again, holidays uh, that the office is closed, that's the pink highlighter. Um, vacation is this super thin washi. Um, what else have I got on here? Um, am I missing anything? Oh, the N and the H. So about every three weeks I get my nails done and every six weeks I get my hair done. So what's nice about here is I can go quickly see when the last one was so I can count. Am I coming up on another one? Do I need to book an appointment? Um, that sort of thing. So, so I think I'm gonna be really happy with this section. Uh, I think it's gonna be very useful. Um, anywhere that it was confusing, because I think Japan has lots of holidays, if I couldn't tell when the week started, I went ahead and drew a line there so I can get my solid week. Um, so that's that page. All right, I'll come back to this. Let's talk about the monthly section. So I'm not, I'm not back planning. I, I don't, no way, uh, there's just no way. The biggest thing I did for April was I marked down what spring break was, when Easter was, that PTO date day, a day I got sick, and of course when we saw Endgame, because that was huge. You wait an entire year for something like that. I write that down. But we are in May. So here is May. God, I hope I don't have any personal on here. I didn't really pay attention to this. But, so the things I am keeping on this calendar. I've washi taped the kids' weeks. So that's what this thin pink washi is. Um, holidays, big events, like, you know, we're going to King's Dominion. Um, at the end of the month, my youngest is getting braces on this day. Um, I've grabbed birthdays, and I, a girl I used to work with did this, and I thought it was adorable. She circles the date, and she puts like what looks like a little balloon. So I know that's a birthday, and that's a birthday. Um, let's see what else have I got on here. Again, I put the new moon and the full moon. Um, bills that are due. So this little green um, dollar sign here. Now, it doesn't say what bill it is, but I have a, an app that I track all of that on. So when I'm setting up this week, I know I need to go pay something there. Um, and then all of the kids' activities, um, you know, uh, swimming, music, um, a game, practice, concert, party, a play. So anything that the kids have. And again, color-coded. Um, I had to bring snacks to this game. Um, and then just a few to-dos at the bottom. I I'm still... Again, only a few days into this thing, so we'll see how this evolves and how I keep track of this stuff. So, so that's a monthly, and I've, I haven't really set up future months. That's about as far as I got, so a little bit into June. Uh, weekly, so this is this week, like this is today. So I do have some sticker kits. Again, I ordered a few of those, and now this one, um, and I'll link her below, uh, I felt like I did pay for it, and the doorbell rang. And the stickers were here. It was phenomenal. I was so happy and so excited. So I've decorated a few weeks. I don't think I'll do it every week. I don't want this thing to be super fat and full with stickers, but a little just, you know, change is kind of nice and I'm still new. So let's see how I like it. So on this side, I've sectioned off, um, not quite the third, cause there's the dot, but just over here, I think when I'm actually highlighting it, it's about four of these that I can see behind. Cause for whatever reason, they didn't put grid over here, which is a bummer, but so about four of those. So the gray is going to be my steps, and I used to do that in my bullet journal as well. The middle section will be the weather, and then the pink will be what we had for dinner. Yep, had pizza tonight, people. So good. So I've got steps, steps, weather, weather, and meals. I would love to say that I plan in advance our meals. I do not. I would like to. I should. Maybe maybe put a post-it over here with what I'd like us to do. But alas, I just actually um, record what we ate, not so much, you know, um, in advance but so this is the section that concerns me and that's why I don't do a whole lot of decorating over here I feel like I have a lot of to-dos at work and uh, that's what concerns me that I'm gonna run out of space there's 42 little squares over here and as you can see I've been writing super tiny because um, I want to use all 42 if I need them so now there's another girl on YouTube one of the videos many many videos I watched um, that kind of alleviated that concern for me because basically these blank pages at the back If I were to go over say it was a ridiculous hectic week. I, I can't I hope not. But anyway, 
I could flip to a page back here and I can continue to write my to-dos and then take this page number and write it down here. And then the to-dos over here, I can actually reference what week they were from. I've covered it up with sticker right now, but I still wrote it in, this is week 20. So if for some reason I went beyond this page, I can go over here, continue writing, grab the page number, write that here, write week 20 over here, and not be concerned about running out of space. So that's kind of how I've set this up so far. We will see how, <laughs> how this evolves. Again, it's still new. So um, I haven't really done, I'm doing like most people with the little, you know, post-it for future planning. Um, I, I would imagine maybe at some point, maybe I won't be that anal. Maybe I'll just go right on the damn page. I mean, that's what it's for, right? Um, so, note section. So, I, th I think this is an epic fail right here. There's like this many lines. There's 70 pages back here. This is not going to be enough. And even with me writing, um, like on every line, so they, you know, I take the imaginary line or the faint line behind here, and I still, I'm not going to have enough. So I kind of, and, and of course, I immediately went over here and I did my waiting for, and my someday maybe, uh, where am I going to put this damn index? I don't even know. So I don't know what we'll do to do here. So right now I'm like, Ugh. you ever look back and like, Ugh, stupid. All right, so let's go over. I don't have very many spreads in here yet, but, and I just realized how long this video is, so I apologize. Um, so at waiting for, and someday maybe, these are GTD lists um, that I always have in here. Um, my project lists for business and for personal. I have my three um, ad agenda pages, which I've, if you've watched my other videos, you've heard me reference. We have a, a family RV trip coming up. Um, I had to cover up some stuff there, but so that's going to be that spread. Some notes, some more sensitive stuff there that I've covered up. Uh, I've got my oldest daughter's graduation, so gift ideas for her. I hope she's not watching this video. And um, some party ideas uh, for her. And then another project coming up. So I have all of these pages waiting for me. So we'll see. Now, uh, we're almost halfway through the year, so if I'm, like, blowing through these, then I might get the mega for 2020. Um, right now, I'm hoping that we should be fine, that, you know, 70 pages are enough. Um, so I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Oh, wait, no, dummy. All right, so what this is. So I printed, I have a weekly review um, that I use in every planner, and I'm sorry about the glare. Um, and this is just my checklist. Um, so these are all the things that I need to cover when I go through a weekly review. Now I typed it up and I printed it on um, vellum, and then I laminated it. And I washi taped it or tipped it in here so that I can fold it open when I'm doing a weekly review and still see my checklist right here. So that's why that looks like that. Um, if you're interested in my weekly review, that's it right there. I know you'll pause right there so you can read some of it, <laughs> but it's applicable to me and probably not many others. But anyway, so that gets tucked away back there. And then in the front here, I have another one. And this is um, daily to-dos and monthly to do. So when I'm setting up a new month, these are all the things I'd like to check and make sure that I capture daily. I'd like to say I do that every day. Eh, no, but um, it's there. If I'm like, God, I, I feel like I need to do some stuff. There it is. And so that's same thing. So it's, you know, tipped in on this side. So when I'm setting up my month, there it is. I can go and, and look at my, my checklist. So tip that back in. And there it is. So sorry that video was exceptionally long. Um, hopefully there's something in there that's useful. Um, I've ordered two new covers for this thing. One, both are stupid cheap. Um, one is uh, that Walmart wallet that everyone was talking about on Facebook. Uh, I think that'll be here on Wednesday or so two days from now. And then uh, another one that I saw on Facebook, which was on eBay, kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton pattern, um, but both of them um, have a zipper. And I want to be able to just chuck this in my purse and not worry about pages, bookmarks falling out or, or whatever. So, so we'll see how those turn up. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, I'll link my uh, account down below. Um, you can, um, I guess, keep an eye out for whenever those arrive and I'll show you what they look like. So as always, thank you so, sorry about the glare. Thank you so much for watching. Um, hope that was useful and uh, we'll see you soon.